was working on the project that was using machine vision to identify cancerous melanomas. I was in a NLP plus finance project where we kind of just like focused on sentiment analysis. I worked on disaster relief where we were able to take data from Twitter and then be able to classify that uh, based using um, a couple of different models and then uh, categorize our outputs to be able to say, oh, this person is in need of food or this person is in need of electricity. The project itself that I worked on was uh, we trained a machine learning model to learn short pieces of text, like think tweets, for example, and then be able to convert that casual, more slang-like language or jargon into more formal language. And that was like a great introduction uh, for me as a high schooler to the world of AI and natural language processing. Well, it was really the first experience I had with um, coding in general. I was excited to, because I had a, the interest in biology uh, before, so I was excited to do the, the COVID-19 genomics project. And you know, it was really helpful the way this, the, the whole program was structured to have the introduction be with Python and then Slowly after that introduction, we, we started tackling the actual genomics portion of it. So I thought that was really thoughtful. And it was just really cool to have the um, the opportunity to learn a new, like to learn programming through the lens of uh, biology. My name is Eric Noriega. I'm attending MIT, currently a sophomore, studying AI and business analytics as a double major. I did the AI and finance project. And when I first learned about Inspire AI, that project specifically is what drew me drew me in because at the time I was actually thinking of being a, a finance major, but I still wanted to do something tech related. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to explore it. And I had a little bit of experience with Python, but nothing with any of like the AI packages that we, we use like Pandas or, or NumPy. So that was, it was good to have that exposure and I had, hadn't used um, Google Colab before. I know the the analogous version of that that a lot of people sometimes use is uh, Jupyter Notebooks. I hadn't used that either. So in one of my classes or in one of the research positions I I did last year, when, when they pulled up Jupyter Notebooks, I was like, oh, this looks familiar. Like, okay, I actually know how to use this. I don't have to worry about this anymore. But I think that exposure for as short of a time was, as it was pushed me to well, it only furthered my interest in the field. And so by the time I got my decisions, I knew like I wasn't gonna study finance anymore. I wanted something more uh, tech related. And so that ended up leading me to the double major that I'm currently doing.